Hello everybody, how you all doing? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan, and I hope you lot are doing well. And welcome to today's video, which is a Chelsea news video where I'm talking about Callum Hudson-Odoi and him potentially, or looking like, he's about to sign a five-year deal. But before we do get into today's video, I'd like to request that you do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notifications icon to keep up to date with all the videos I'm doing. Right then, let's get into it. Callum Hudson-Odoi. Chelsea youth, Chelsea Academy product, 18 year old, made his debut for Chelsea when he's 17. The narrative got built up last season when he broke into the team. Well, he broke into the team, I think Conte played him a little bit, but the big news stories were last season. hudson Adoy actually ended up playing decent minutes under Maurizio Sarri, but it came later in the season after a bunch of controversy involving Bayern Munich. The fact remains, before Callum Hudson-Odoi got his Achilles injury, he was part of Maurizio Sarri's starting lineup, as was Ruben Loftus-Cheek. He was an important, effective, dynamic young player. Sure, he was quite young at the age of 17 when Callum first played for Chelsea's first team, but he was used to winning at youth level, and he was widely recognised as an absolute superstar talent in the Chelsea youth ranks. So it's not surprising that he wriggled his way into the first team and by the end of last year he was a first team first 11 player. Now the interesting thing with Callum Hudson-Odoi is he loves Chelsea Football Club. Well, you can see that in when he scores a goal or when his teammate scores a goal or when he's training on the pitch of his teammates, he just looks elated. He's so happy to be there and he you know, tweets on social media about his boyhood club when he scored his first goal. Very happy to be at Chelsea and playing in the team. All sounds great, right? Well, it was not an easy ride last season and basically, Callum Hudson-Odoi handed in a transfer request to apparently, the story goes, Marina Granoskaya directly. Apparently, he went into her office and gave her the transfer request. Now, that might be a little bit like made up narrative and put out into the sort of press, but it could have happened but he does seem like quite like a humble young lad, so maybe he didn't. Regardless, there was a transfer request, and that was because German behemoth Bayern Munich wanted to buy the English youngster. Indeed, for like the last couple of years, there's been this vogue thing in Germany where German football scouts have been looking at English youngsters. Obviously, England, like under-17s, won the World Cup. I think it's under-17s. And generally, English academies have been making great youngsters. German football people are smart, so they started scouting English youngsters. And a few have been going over there. There's like a few examples. And they saw Callum Hudson-Odoi and they saw his absolute mega levels of potential and they wanted him. Obviously Bayern Munich had the two aging wingers and Robin and Ribéry, they were both retiring. They've got players like Gnabry that's very very good but they wanted Callum Hudson-Odoi. They expressed interest publicly which is a little bit naughty and wanted to bring him into Bayern Munich. Um, they put bids down to Chelsea but Chelsea were waving them away. Bearing in mind, Callum Hudson-Odoi is now entering, before he signs, the last year of his contract. So maybe Chelsea were tempted to sell him. But the thing is, the press became so big and it looked so negative on Chelsea and they were losing Eden Hazard, that was starting to become clear. They could simply not lose Eden Hazard and Callum Hudson-Odoi in the same window, especially with a transfer ban. Bayern were really going for it and they tabled a £35 million bid that probably could have even gone up even further with negotiation. I think at this point, Bayern Munich's record transfer was like 40 million euros on Tolisso or thereabouts. They could have broken that for a teenager who hadn't really been in the first team for much long in, at Chelsea. On paper, that is mental. If you think about the kind of tier players that Bayern bring in for, say, a transfer record, you're expecting top, top tier experienced players in their prime at like 24 or something. But no, they were gonna go in for this teenager, untested to a degree, because they believed in him so much. So, flashback to Callum Hudson, the Doys camp. How does he respond to this? Well, he's gonna look at one of his best mates in Jaden Sancho, who's ripping up the scene at Dortmund, and he's thinking, I could do that in Germany but for the biggest team in Germany, Bayern Munich. It's kind of like a cool thing to do, right? So, how does this work with me talking about how Chelsea is hudson Adoy's boyhood club that he loves, he loves his teammates, he wants to play for Chelsea, he loves living in London. How is this all coming together? Well, there is speculation that is to do with Callum hudson Adoy's camp. Maybe there's some sort of influence there from his brother, who is also his agent. 
who knows, maybe someone's getting in his ear and telling him he's got to do it for his career. Maybe they were just super, super intelligent and they knew they had Chelsea in a vice. Maybe they thought, oh, it would be kind of cool to go to Germany, let's keep it as an option, but we want to stay here at Chelsea, but let's just push him right to the end, sort of hold a gun to Chelsea's head. Anyway, Callum hudson adoy sustained that Achilles injury, which is very sad for the lad, but by all accounts, he's coming along nicely in his rehabilitation. That's gonna throw a spanner in the works for any transfer, but I don't think it stopped Bayern from being interested. But Maurizio Sarri left Chelsea, and Frank Lampard came into Chelsea. I think this is hugely important in Callum hudson odoi having a change of heart. Chelsea coach Frank Lampard came out making all the right noises about Callum hudson odoi saying how he sees him central to this Chelsea team moving forwards. Obviously his uh, assistant coach is Jody Morris that knows him well as well and there's loads more Chelsea people at the club, you know, Petr Cech etc, you know, Joe Edwards. So they all come together and they support the prospect of Callum hudson odoi being an important, you know, figure in the team. So obviously, that's not going to do any harm. And another really important, notable, salient point in this is people like, you know, Callum's mates, Rhys James coming back to the club, probably going to sign a new contract. Ruben Loftus-Cheek, his good mate at the club, signing a new contract. Mason Mount, signing a new contract. All the English Chelsea youngsters are all committing their futures long term to Chelsea and Frank Lampard. At this point, Callum hudson Adoy signing a new contract for Chelsea seemed like the natural progression and by all accounts, it is happening. Reports say that Callum hudson Adoy has pen... <laughs> Reports say that Callum has agreed to a five-year contract with Chelsea for the wage of 100k a week that can go up apparently but starting fee of 100k a week for five years five years sounds like a long time but at the end of that contract he'll only be 23 if you sign a 23 year old or signing a young player so i'd like to put him on a 12 year contract personally but <clears throat> excuse me you can imagine by the end of the five year contract he might be an elite european player that would look to get a bumper contract and hopefully stay at chelsea for even longer now then is 100k a week a lot of money yes <laughs> but it's not if you think about it two years into this five-year contract he'll be 20 years old he's already an excellent player by 20 he could be a superb player with three years left on his contract and still getting paid 100k a week by then 100k a week might seem like absolutely nothing think about people like marcus rashford he's on 300k a week you now who doesn't really have a great offensive output he's a very talented player rashford but it's just you know an example ruben loftus cheeks on 150k i think that's perfect for a player of his elite quality and i think 100k is perfect for callum hudson adore if he's amazing by 21 three years into his contract he might get a new contract then and double his wages you know why not you know by by 21 he could be a 300k a week level player he absolutely could be hudson Adoy's ceiling is incredibly high and he's a, an incredibly talented player it's not just football fans or chelsea fans that rate callum hudson Adoy so highly or certainly people in chelsea's inside the club obviously rate him very highly football journalists and neutrals as well think he's incredibly special uh, and a great example of this was when loads of journalists and media people were invited to watch the England team train when Callum hudson Adoy had his first team call-up. So many journos came out and said how hudson Adoy was a shining light in that training and he looked like he had elite qualities. And obviously Southgate said similar things, but he didn't want to talk up one individual so much. But a lot of people that came back from training observation and a lot of people were saying, you know, this kid's amazing. Loads of people have said it, you know, Chelsea players, Willian, people like the club all say, you know, Eden Hazard himself said he's the next big thing, this kid looks like he's 26 in his prime, but he was 17 at the time, so he's a very, very special talent. Finally, I want to end on how important this really is for Chelsea. Sure, it makes Chelsea look good, securing all their academy products, he's talented, not losing them to a, a big German club, and you know, it's good PR and the Frank Lampard project, great. But the fact of the matter is, how important he is as an asset and an effective weapon. Chelsea can go out next summer and look to spend the Eden Hazard slash Morata money on a big player if they want to. But in terms of a uh, Eden Hazard replacement, look no further than Callum hudson Adoy. Callum is two-footed, he can dribble with both feet, he's direct, he's pacey, and he 
has a great shot on him. He might not be in the exact mould of Eden Hazard of how he moves on the ball, but you want an, eff an effective like winger or inside forward. That's your boy. Plus, it's great because he knows what it means to be Chelsea. He's been at Chelsea since he was a little kid. He's grown up. He's won through the ranks, and you know he's going to be an excellent player for Chelsea Football Club and England. At time of recording, he has not actually signed. It's just been widely reported that he's agreed the five-year deal. And also, when the reports came out, Hudson Odoi posted a picture of him playing for Chelsea so you know anyway guys Chelsea fans watching how do you feel about this are you buzzing on Callum Hudson-Odoi committing his long-term future to Chelsea do you wish the contract was longer do you think it's enough money do you think it's way too much money get down in the comments let me know your thoughts on this video my channel generally how you think things are going at Chelsea or football or the Premier League or anything Just let me know get down in the comments obviously I'd like you to like this video if you've enjoyed the content check out some of my other videos subscribe if you are new and also if you want to support my channel you can donate as little as one dollar a month to my patreon and gain exclusive access to extra content i'm doing and i'll do live streams and chat to you about football and whatever for one dollar oh yeah also you can follow me on the social media platforms as in instagram and twitter at football yannick links to my patreon and socials will be down in the description all right that's it ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed this video enjoy the football if you can watch any anywhere and i'll see you later you ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck i'ma get it how i'm living i'ma walk the walk outline my lines i rap through thought body bag the verse outlined in chalk in my life seen trouble hustle on the double silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle yo chick like to guzzle bad boy stay in trouble i only love this paper sorry i don't I